This lesson should help you master the usage of date and time in Excel and the various functions and formats around the same. To enter a date in Excel, use the front slash or hyphen characters. I am using the front slash to enter today's date. Here. Now to enter a time, you can use the colon. You can also enter date and time in a single cell. This way. The default date and time format depends on your Windows regional settings. Going ahead, we'll also learn about various date and time formats. Now let's say that you want to easily enter the current date and time while making a time log of activities. Or maybe uh, you want to display the current date and time automatically in a cell every time the formulas are recalculated. So there are multiple ways to insert the current date and time in a cell. In the worksheet, select the cell in which you want to insert the current date or time. Now to insert the current date, press control and semicolon. To insert the current time, press control shift and semicolon. Right? Now to insert the current date and time in a single cell, press control semicolon, give a space and then press Control, shift and semicolon. Here you are. These values won't change when the worksheet is recalculated or opened next time. And hence it's called static value. Now a date or time that updates when the worksheet is recalculated or the workbook is opened is considered dynamic instead of static. The most common way to return a dynamic date or time in a cell is by using worksheet functions. To get the current date, use the today function. On cell D3, type equal to today bracket open bracket closed and press enter so this gives you today's date that is september 23rd 2017 now to get the current date and time use the now function on cell D5, type equal to now bracket open, bracket closed, and enter. Right? Dates and times in Excel can be displayed in a variety of ways. To apply a date or time format, select cell B3, right click and then click format cells and the category list select date. You will see several date formats here. Select one of the formats as per your requirement and click OK. 
now to get the current time only in cell d4 use equal to now minus today you'll see a decimal number coming up now you just have to apply a time format so right click and then click format cells again and in the category list select time and choose a time format here you are excel uses its own unique system which it calls serial numbers whereby every date has an equivalent serial number dating back to 1st january 1900 times are handled internally as numbers between 0 and 1 now to clearly see this just change the number format of cell b3 b4 and b5 to general select the cells right click and click on format cells within the number tab select category general apparently day number 43001 that is 43000 days after 1st january 1900 is the same as 23rd september 2017 coming to time time is handled internally as a number between 0 and 1 let's take an easy example enter time as say 6 am note that excel displays this time as 6 colon 00 colon 00 in the formula bar based on the set defaults just change this to general format and you'll notice that 6 is represented as 0.25 that is quarter or 1/4 through the day change the number format of this cell to date only you may note here that this cell still contains the decimal number we only change the appearance of the number not the number itself moving on to the next section to get the year of a date use the year function type equal to year reference it to a date and it will extract the year similarly use the month and day function to get the month and day of a date type uh, equal to month reference it to the date here and type uh, equal to day reference it here you are these functions that is year month and day are very simple they extract each part of a date individually these functions may not be of great interest but combined with the date function 
they are quite helpful in automatically generating key dates. Date function creates a valid date from year, month and day and it returns a serial number that represents a particular date in Excel. So let's try it out. Type equal to date reference year, month and day to the respective cells. Date returns a date serial number in the background. Here, the result is formatted to display as a date. To add a number of days to a date, we can use a simple addition formula. Here it's asking for the date after adding 5 days to the current date. So the result is here. Yeah. To add a number of years or months, we'll use the date function. For example, equal to date reference to a year that is cell B7 plus 5 comma reference to month that is cell B8 comma reference to day that is cell B9. The date function accepts three arguments year, month and day. Now we'll try creating a direct reference to the current date for adding five months. Type in equal to date year reference to current date that is cell B3 month again reference to current date that is cell B3 and add 5 and for day reference to current date that is cell B3 once again and hit enter so here's our result To return the R, use the R function. Type equal to R, reference it to time, that is cell D5, and it will extract the R. Similarly, use the minute function to extract the minute from the current date and time. Type equal to minute reference it to cell d5 and then type equal to second and reference it to d5 again to get the second here moving ahead to the time function it allows you to create a time with individual R, minute and second components. This works just like the date function and it returns a decimal number representing a particular time in Excel. So let's try it out. Type equal to time reference R minute and second to the respective cells. Time returns a time serial number in the background. Here the result is formatted to display as proper time. This function is useful when you want to assemble a proper time inside another formula. In this example, 
to add a number of hours, minutes or seconds, we'll use the time function. Here it asks to add 5 hours. So let's type in equal to time reference to R that is cell D7 and add 5 reference to minute that is cell D8 and then reference to second that is cell D9 we'll now create a direct reference to the current time for adding 5 minutes equal to time or reference to cell d5 comma minute again reference to cell d5 and add 5 second would reference to cell d5 once again and enter And now let's add a combination of hours, minutes and seconds to the current time. Let's take an example. Type in equal to time R reference to cell D5 and add 5 minute again reference to cell D5 and add 15 second reference to cell d5 once again and add 25 and hit enter and here's the result now we'll see how to get the first day of the month it is very easy to create the first of any month. You can just put in 1 in the day part of the formula date. For the month and year of the formula date, we will use functions month, year and today to extract the month and the current year. Let's have a look. Type in equal to date year today that is we'll get the year of the current date then month and we'll extract the month of the current date. And then the last part, which is usually day, there we can simply type in 1 as we need the first day of the month. We all know that the number of days in a month varies. Seen this way, Getting the value of the last day of a month seems difficult. But thanks to the date function, we can solve this without much difficulty. The formula that we use to calculate the first day of the current month can be used to get the first day of the next month too by adding one additional month. And from there, subtracting one day would give us the last day of the current month. Right? So let's have a look. Type equal to date year today and month today plus one 
that is the next month and in the day part we'll mention one again that is we want to get the first day of the next month right so here is our date formula and from the result we can simply subtract one to get the last day of the current month so here's our result